There was a lady, she was suffering from cancer disease. She went to the doctor and consulted to the doctor and the doctor told that you are suffering from severe cancer. She got shocked. She was in sad mood. And after that, she was sitting in a corner and thinking, what next? Then she had a plan. And the plan was about, let's construct an, a hospital for the cancer patients. And she got very busy in building and constructing the hospital for the cancer patients. After five years, the hospital gets ready and constructed. And then in the same hospital built by that lady, she goes for the checkup and she finds that she has just a mild or moderate cancer disease. From the severe to moderate and to mild she came. How was it possible or how it becomes possible in our lives? And today we are going to discuss about one of the biggest and most important factor of life that is intelligence. Intelligence. That is about your understanding. That's about your intelligence. That's about, that's about exact point to understand everything in a proper way. First of all, through my videos or through my sessions or lectures, what I want, what is my target, what is my actually main plan? I have a plan to motivate you, to inform you with, with the help of English speaking. You simultaneously is like killing two birds with one stone. Simultaneously you can learn two things. One is about the information and knowledge you can gain the topic I deliver to you. Second thing you can also learn how to speak and how to deliver in English language. There, there are two concepts, right? One is English understanding and learning. Another is about information, taking information. So today we are going to understand and discuss about intelligence. IQ. Last time we discussed about IQ, EQ, SQ and AQ. And in this video we are going to discuss about actually IQ intelligence question first of all let's understand another number of IQs 70 to 145 if you are highly genius you your IQ may be 140 to 145 if you are just genius your IQ may be 130 if you are less than that okay your IQ may be 110 120 but if your IQ is 70 to 80 it means you are lower than the average that's why especially 80% of IQ we get and receive from the genetics from the previous generations, right? Because 80% IQ, the common is the normal. Then we develop ourselves. We just uh, go into the atmosphere. We get nurtured. We get brought up and we just learn a lot of things from the atmosphere, environment and family backgrounds, right? From the area and the region we stay, we live in. So we learn a lot of things and that affects our brain, the cycle of the brain and that also increases and develops our IQ intelligence question. And that's why there is a saying that for the, pa for the parents, if you are a parent, if you are going to be a father and mother, never cry, never fight, never argue, never quarrel in front of your kids and children because they get affected. And if they get affected by your quarreling, fighting, arguments, ill words and chill words, chilly words, they are going to be affected and their IQ level is also going to be affected because of the environment of the family and the house. If you want to develop your, your child's IQ, what you need to do, you need to just bring up that child in a very proper environment, in a productive environment, so that the baby, the child can gain that kind of atmosphere and environment where he can expose himself, where he can express himself, where he can gain that potential, that kind of stability that's very important. And now, to build IQ, but first of all, before initiating or before beginning about IQ or intelligence, let's understand that there are how many types of intelligence. First of all, there is one intelligence that's very important to understand that is kinesthetic, bodily kinesthetic, which means what is the connection of your body to your mind? What is the connection of your body to your mind? That's most important to understand. When you understand about your entire body, you become healthy. You understand about the functions of the body. You understand about the physics of the body. You understand about the cycle of the body. And that helps you to keep yourself healthy, to keep yourself fit and physically strong. 
Just like that, I would like to give you two examples. If you go to gym or yoga or for exercise, what you do? You do exercise there and you build your body. You build you, you build your fitness, right? You become fit. You show your bicep, you show your, show your six packs abs and you show your collar, chest and you just look yourself smart and uh, uh, strong and fit exactly, right? The same way. If you practice your brain and mind, your brain and mind gets stronger. But don't practice into a negative, don't practice in a negative zone or in a, in a negative way. I would like to give you a very common example. Let's have an example. Let's have an example of lychee. Lychee ka example lete hain. Lychee ko pehle aap kholenge. If you open the lychee, if you shell the lychee, you will find, you will find what? the edible item what you can eat but if you just eat that item you will find there is a big seed which is useless which is not eaten which is not edible so what we may understand if we talk about something if we think something into a positive way in a positive way we gain something we learn something we get a positive vibe positive energy we exercise our mind in a proper way but if we keep on thinking about a negative thing if we go deeper 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 and deeper what we find we find just like a leachy seed that's useless no we can't eat it and we cannot Think something negative which affects us. And if we think, keep on thinking that thing that will affect our mind, IQ, intelligence, behavior, nature, and all the mood. And they, we will get the mood swings as well. Irritation and anger zone we will go. That's why we need to understand this. Let's talk about that. Another thing that we discussed the first point about intelligence. That was kinesthetic bodily intelligence. And let's talk about the another point, right? Let's understand about naturalistic intelligence, which means you understand about the nature. What is the rule of the nature? What is the nature actually, right? You understand about the botany, you understand about the geography, you understand about the trees, plants, mountains, rain, and you understand about entire nature. And then it comes to the third point that is about existential intelligence, which means you understand about your existence. You understand about the human in existence, right? Why we took birth, why we die. What, how, how, what is birth and death? What is B, C, D? Birth, cycle, death, birth, choice, death. And we understand the entire concept of birth and death. That is the most important thing to understand. And that is existential intelligence. Let's come to the next point. Another point is interpersonal intelligence. When you gain a capacity, when you understand about how to connect the people, how to communicate with the people, how to make a proper and a good relation, a stable relation with somebody, that is interpersonal relationship. When you take yourself and connect yourself to another person, that is interpersonal relationship and interpersonal intelligence. If you want to succeed in this world, you want to be a, you want to be a successful teacher, entrepreneur, businessman, corporate leader, trainer, leader whatever you want to become you need this interpersonal intelligence and interpersonal skills to connect and communicate with the people right it's very important keep in keep in 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 your mind exactly keep in your mind this point exactly right now let's come to another point which means intrapersonal intelligence where you understand about your intra where you understand about yourself what are you who are you what do you want to be what is your psyche what is your feeling what is your emotion what is your mindset what is your behavior what kind of thoughts you have all these you understand in this intrapersonal intelligence through intrapersonal intelligence ladies and gentlemen and you must understand this right the next we have is spatial intelligence which means you understand about artificial you understand about virtuality you understand about digitalization you understand about these things mobile phone instagram facebook youtube and all these things you understand these are also very important to understand if we talk about we have one artificial intelligence one another is human intelligence i am going to explain uh, what i am explaining you i'm explaining you about iq human intelligence i'm not explaining you about chat gpt i'm not explaining you about ai artificial intelligence right i'm just explaining you about the types of intelligence the power of intelligence the iq exact you need to understand then we have social intelligence we have emotional intelligence and what we discussed in the last session as well so my dear friends and my dear people, what we need to understand if you want to build a, a great IQ, a great mindset, first we need to understand the cycle of the brain. Our brain is the most powerful. It is G-O-D, 
generator operator destroyer it can generate you it can destroy you it can make you it can crack you it can make you mentally strong it can make you mentally strong and it can also make you strongly mental you want to be mental or gentle you want to be psycho or have psyche you want to be a thoughtful person or a thoughtless person that your mind decides and your brain decides that's why it's the most powerful having 100 billion neurons and having good oxygen having water having iron oxygen everything brain carries along with it and that's why you need to understand the power of your brain the psyche of the brain many times what happens with us like for example if you compare between two the two of the people one lives in village one lives in city one lives in village one lives in city one that village guy has congested himself or herself into the in a particular house he lives in a single environment right where he has been affected because of that environment when he steps out he cannot behave and connect with others he cannot understand about other other cultures traditions other mindsets other feelings other environments and what the people what the person lives in city and he has roamed explored exposed expressed understood about all the environments and about all the psyches and cycles of the world and the countries and the states he will be more powerful more creative more active and having a great iq and intelligence and understanding that's why we need to understand that we can develop a great IQ through our atmosphere, through our living lifestyle, through our mindset and through reading, through understanding, through roving, through journey, traveling and all these can help us to boost our confidence and also boost our IQ. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to develop your IQ, you need to socialize yourself with others. You need to go to others, meet others, understand from others, learn from others, right? You need to communicate and talk to others. These will really boost and boom, bombast your confidence and also your IQ level. My dear people, you try to understand about this because it's very important. And, until you, and unless you understand about the cycle of the brain and cycle of your intelligence, you will be just a failure person because this intelligence is the most powerful tool you have and you carry along with you to fight all the obstacles and difficulties in your life. And if you want to defeat all the difficulties and problems in your life, you need a great and impactful intelligence. And that intelligence will lead you to the right destination and right path. And it will fulfill all your all dreams and desired goals. That's why my people, my friends, my dear viewers, you need to understand and implement this point. For example, <clears throat> I, I just want to say that uh, we become what we what whatever we become we become with the help of mindset we become with the help of our intelligence somebody can make plane somebody even cannot make the wheel of the plane somebody can fly the plane even somebody cannot fly that titli that butterfly it's all about differences of intelligence ladies and gentlemen and of understanding that's why i request you all that you please develop your intelligence increase your intelligence if you don't have that kind of iq you try to develop it try to experience it try to explore it try to go here and there learn from the books learn from the people and implement in your life your life is going to be wonderful amazing dazzling special remarkable marvelous fabulous interesting jubilant and you are going to prosper your life as well as others life with the help of your intelligent and intelligent mindset and intelligence power thank you so much may god bless you learn something special and implement it to your life and be a powerful person with your intelligence.